It's DDK and I'm back with another video. Make sure you put me in a big screen video. Guess what? We're about to pull up and get this dough. If you are not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. We're about to pull up so we can uh, run it up. Guess what? Today we are going to be using the new Delivered app. And you're going to find out if I like it or dislike it, but I think they should change. But it's time for us to get this change. The pickup location is Takiera and Victo. We're here to get dough and scope. We are picking up 63 items. All together, the order cost is $982. We're gonna drive 8.8 .8 miles and receive a payment of $55.74. We pulled up, it's time for us to, uh, let's go, let's go. Just like that, we are here at the pickup to run it up. We're trying to get bucks if you so what? This joint locked. Let me in A few moments later. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was locked the whole time. <laughs> Excuse me. Thirsty. How you doing, bro? How you doing, boss? I have an easy catering order to pick up. Easy catering. I got three boxes over here, and then I'm just packing up the last one. Okay. You got, got four total, bro. Okay. There you go. Yeah, these things got a little weight to. I'm gonna come back. Number one, we are getting it done. Ah! There it goes. Yeah. You got it. I'm going to wagon out this time. I ain't about to play no games, but do our thing and get this change. Yeah. I'm a little bit lighter. Here. Oh. Right there. Oh. I'll come back one more time. He said it's, it's uh, one more box after this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Number two, what it do? What? Got that right there. Ah. This right here. Oh. Y'all see what's going on. We are here getting it on. Last box. We gonna keep on getting to the money. We ain't gonna never stop. <clears throat> Y'all see it. Y'all see we bungeed up. Now it's time to pull up and get our money up. Let's go. First things first. I'm gonna tell you guys the first thing that I've noticed that is different from the old app versus the new app, which honestly, me personally, I like the new app way better for this particular reason. On the old app, they had two tabs. They had a pickup tab and then they had a drop off tab. Uh, when you click the pickup tab, it shows you the pickup location, the restaurant and everything. But then you had to go to the drop off tab to see how much you're gonna get paid for the order, see how much the order costs, and if they're gonna pay you for tolls or any incentives or anything. So all of the stuff was not located in one area. So every time when I got an order, I used to kind of just, the first thing I would do is go to the second tab instead of the first one, because I kind of, you can see a little bit of the first one, and I go to the second one to see how much gonna get paid, I'm going to get paid. Uh, or also, I used to just look at my text message and see the payout, like that way. On a new app, it's way better. Like everything is right there. You can see everything clear as day. It's gonna tell you the restaurant, uh, the source of the uh, order. Like this is the easy catering order, how the mileage, the item count, the order subtotal. Um, it's gonna tell you the mileage, it's gonna tell you the pickup and drop off location. And it's also gonna tell you how much you're gonna get paid right on one screen. So that's the first thing that I like about the new app. The next thing I noticed about the new app versus the old app was, this is something I always had an issue with too. Whenever you leave the pickup location, you're supposed to swipe saying you're going to the drop off location, but then you also have to swipe again, saying you're starting to go there. I always thought that was unnecessary. And I always used to forget that. And they always used to have to send me a text message. With the new app, you do not have to worry about that. 
let's pull up and get these bucks if you're hating so what let's go and you know what's the crazy thing about it is normally normally they somebody brings a car and they just take everything yeah. but it's usually across the street yeah. not and, over here um, we're, this is not like our normal building we're here oh for okay so normally yes we have our own car that we can yeah But the meeting is in progress, so we're just gonna. I'll sneak in there and then sneak out. Okay. <laughs> really? Another thing that is on the new app versus the old app, once you said that you are at the location for the drop off, they send you this message that says, it's time to provide an extraordinary experience. Please remember these important details. Bring your hot bags to the customers. All catering orders are to be set up for the customer. Do not deliver more than 10 minutes early. So that's what you gotta, you gotta swipe and confirm that before you even go in and take the photos and all that stuff. I do wanna say this about the whole 10 minutes early thing. Honestly, this is my honest opinion about uh, catering orders, not just deliver, but all the catering orders I've done in the previous. Um, it's kind of an issue with the time in a lot of times because we were supposed to pick up that order at 10.05 a.m. and drop it off at 10.45 a.m. but we was only a few miles away so it only took like 10 minutes to get there. So like what are we really supposed to do in the meantime in between time? I do understand that a lot of times or sometimes that depending on the restaurant, the, uh, they're not gonna have their items ready. But if you told me to be there at 10.05 and they got them joints ready, like what am I supposed to do for that whole 35 minutes, 35, 40 minutes? I don't know. And as you guys noticed, guess what? You did hear her say that uh, they have to wait a whole hour before they're supposed to be eating. So I don't know what, it's like a disconnect between the restaurant uh, when they order the stuff. It's, it's like a disconnect between the restaurant and the customer and deliver. I don't know what be going on, but this has happened to me multiple times. And stay tuned to the full video. I'm gonna tell you guys what I feel about the new app. It's time for us to get to this money, no cap. <laughs> So, um, yeah. so my question is about careers. So you had a very diverse career. You started as a sales rep and then you moved to HR. So you had multiple roles. And even within HR, you, have, you had different roles. So my question or ask to you is, what kinds of, what tips would you be able to speak to your uh, career conversations and aspirations? Uh, you mentioned, well, we should be focusing on being a better professional, not a job title. But sometimes when we go with serious conversations, the organization might expect to find all destinations. So how do you see that and what tips do you think for your conversations and aspirations? Yeah, no, thank you, Mary. You know, this is this is um you're right because um I I always have conversations with very bosses and they always want to see like what is the job they want to do, right? And then when you try to dodge that question about, oh, bad job, I'm not sure, then it's, you don't know what you want. So it's hard for me to help you. But let's be very honest. Like, it's, it's human nature to solve problems. Like, we are wired to have solve problems. Uh, uh, and I think, you know, the best way that I learned how to navigate career conversations is. You're welcome. I can flip this down. Now I don't want to make all that noise in there. Oh, no, no problem. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed the meeting. I'm sure you're going to be bored, but hey, it's all a part of it. You have a great one. Now, what do I think about the new Deliver app versus the old Deliver app? All in all, I want to say huge shout out to Deliver. I think you guys did an exceptional job on the new app. And for those of you who don't that don't know, making apps costs a lot of money. It ain't like it's twenty, fifty, hundred dollars. No. Hundreds of thousand, a hundred to two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars, depending on the app. So look, check it out. These cost money, and I I understand that as a consumer, as people who use the apps, that sometimes we think the apps janky, or sometimes this and that. Is y'all gonna give me a hundred thousand? That's what I'm saying. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed, make sure you smash subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up and lock it tomorrow because we go uh, run it up because we love getting them bucks. I will see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it, ZDK, and I'm on my way.